Howdy, howdy, howdy. We are at SeaWorld San Antonio today. It's a pass holder members event. They're actually doing a little bit of the Seven Seas Food Festival. Um, it's Japanese today, I think. Just Japan. Yeah, just Japanese today. So we're gonna, we're gonna head- Beer Garden. Uh, yeah, yeah, this Japanese uh, at the Beer Garden. Um, and there's a 10% discount along with, I think the 20% you already get off uh, for the food. So I actually think we're getting 30% off when we go into the, uh, the Japanese, um, or we go into the Beer Garden area. So we're gonna check that out and see what they got. I, I was kind of glad uh, that they're doing some Seven Seas Food Festival stuff because I didn't think any of it was gonna happen this year, but um, I actually took off half a day from work to come out here and check it out. So I'm excited to be here. Um, we're also going to try to ride Atlantis today. It's going to be it's very warm out, even though it's overcast right now, which is nice. Uh, but I actually wore the, the type of shorts I need in order to, to go on Atlantis. And then we're hoping, we're keeping our fingers crossed, that the Steel Eel is up and running because we haven't been able to see that the last two times we've been here. Um, so we're, we're really excited today. Uh, we're going to spend the afternoon here. We're, we're fixing to step through the, uh, the uh, temperature check area. So we're going we're gonna to do that. Um, we're glad you're here. I need you guys to subscribe. I need you to smash the subscribe button. Smash it so hard that you break the, the keyboard or the mouse that you're using. And make sure you like the video. Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna go in here. So let's do this. Issues with getting in, no temperatures here. Uh, again, not very many people here again today. Uh, it was pretty easy uh, to get in. It took us less than two minutes. So on we go. Alrighty, we are in the park now. We're gonna head on over to the uh, beer garden and see we're supposed to be getting some magnets also uh, I think up until one o'clock or as many as they have they're giving out free magnets so we're gonna run over there to the beer garden check that out start taking a look at the food teen is hungry she has not ate today so we're gonna go get some food I ain't ate today. she ain't ate today that's that's how you know you're Texan so we know that SeaWorld is building a new roller coaster here in San Antonio However, there's been no progress made at all since the last few times we've been here. Um, it's just not even construction uh, work or, or machines or anything out there yet. So hopefully they get started soon. So here's the past member giveaway interest telling us where to go. And here's the beer garden. About ready to walk in here. Alrighty, got a table set up here. I think we're gonna give our, our past members. Oh, look at that. Yeah, right? Okay. Those are fancy. Dave. I love the vlog. Thank you so much. Subscriber. Are you really? Oh, cool. Awesome. Awesome vlog. There's 2020 SeaWorld right there. So here's all the stuff for the past member give giveaway. On July 9th, which is today, we got the magnet. 23rd is a keychain. 16th is a wave breaker pin, which I'm going to have to come back. And then the 30th is a shark bag. And then... August 6th is a Fiesta medal, so that's really nice. We're getting some good stuff here. We're gonna have to visit here weekly. So here's the menu they have for today's uh, benefit. They have Korean beef short ribs, tuna poke, chicken geyser, green tea ice cream, specialty cocktails, $9.99, and then the Coke products are $3.99. Bottle water, two for six or $3.49. Uh, I don't know what we, or, yeah. I don't know what we got, but we it's going to be a surprise. Sake. So this is sparkling plum sake. It was nine ninety nine. So it's it's uh, not cheap, but Tina said it tastes good. It tastes like sake. Do you know what sake tastes like? It's bitter, and that's bitter, just like sake. Alrighty, so here's our yummy food today. Uh, we have the Korean beef short ribs here for six ninety nine. They look absolutely delicious. Then we have the tuna poke, which is that right there, little pieces of tuna. Poke or poke? I think it's probably poke, yeah. I don't know. Poke? <laughs> it says poke, but I probably poke. Poke, I don't know. And then the chicken. Yeah, don't worry about it. They just, they, they just look like pot stickers. Yeah, so they do. They look like pot stickers. Uh, but all this looks yummy. Uh, we're going to try it out. And then what else did we get? We got uh, some ice cream or something? No, we haven't got I haven't ordered it yet, but oh, yes. Oh, and we're going to get some ice cream also, so. I will let you know how this tastes. It looks yummy though. All right, we're gonna try our our Tina poke here and see tuna? what it tastes like. Uh, tuna. <laughs> see, I got Tina on my mind. We're gonna try the tuna poke here. See what it tastes like. Not bad. Not bad at all. Tina did not like it, but she's not really big on fish though. But I like it, so I'll probably be eating this one. <laughs> 
in sync with the music. There's a, listen to that. I don't know what's going on, but it's loud. The next thing I'm gonna try is the pot sticker. Tina's having a hard time because the music's so loud. I, we must be sitting right in the firing line it of this. It sounds like a Japanese horror movie. It does. It sounds like a Japanese horror movie. Pot sticker? The pot sticker is excellent. Yeah. It's really good. And I got this little soy dipping sauce here. Tina and I have not been able to figure out whether there's a tornado rule warning or is this the actual music. But listen to that. I tasted the short ribs. The short ribs are excellent. Um, they have a really sweet tangy sauce on them and they're pretty tender, so they're good. They're just hard to eat with on camera. The tuna would be probably third. Um, doesn't have a lot of flavor. There's not a lot of spice or anything to it. And then the pot stickers, which uh, of Probably course, <laughs> they're, they're okay. They're, they're pretty good too. Uh, but if you dip them in that sauce, pretty much everything is good. So yeah, so not bad. I mean, uh, $22, it costs $40. Uh, we got our season discounts for $22. Uh, we also, um, so we got $18 off. And then we got to listen to this screeching music that I have to scream in order for you to be able to hear me talk. So. Um, yeah, good times. So you can see here, the beer garden, they're all, the tables are all spaced out. Um, for, uh, you know, at each different picnic table, six feet apart. Um, and then they have this television screen. I don't know what they're going to be showing on it. Uh, the little stage there. So here's our green tea matcha. Matcha. That's what I said. Matcha. Matcha. That's what I said. Green tea matcha. We got this for uh, $3.69. We're going to share it and see what it tastes like. Very sweet. Tastes like matcha. And tastes like green tea. It's good. The uh, matcha ice cream is a little different a texture. It's much more grainy than what regular ice cream is. But it's good. Uh, but the texture is different. So if, you, if you're sensitive to textures like my kids are, even though I think they'd eat this, um, this might not be your thing. Alrighty, that was a good lunch. Uh, we enjoyed that. I'm so glad they're doing Seven Seas Food Festival stuff. We didn't think we'd be able to get any of the food this year, but now it looks like they're going to have it weekly, which I'm incredibly excited about. Tina getting her hand sanitizer on. Uh, but that was awesome. Yeah, good food. Again, the spare ribs were the best. So if you come in here, you don't want to buy all three of them. My recommendation is the spare ribs. Um, don't sit next to the speaker. Yeah, yeah, stay away from the speaker or you think there's a tornado warning in your neighborhood. So. But all in all, great experience. Really happy to be here. Now let's ride some rides. So it looks like they're they're trying to pull one of the roller coaster trains off the track. But it looks like it's just stuck there. So we're about ready to hop on the Texas Stingray. I don't think they'll fall off on this one. All right, here we go, y'all. Riding Texas Stingray for the first time today.
That ride, that ride is awesome. Always. We love it. It's so fast. There's nothing that the Texas Stig ride can't fix from your mood standpoint. And look at that duck with the blue beak. Oh, there's a couple of them over there. Yep. Look how pretty they are. They are some gorgeous duckies. All right, now we're gonna ride Journey to Atlantis for the first time. So quite honestly, we never rode Journey to Atlantis because it's either being too cold or we've had someplace else to go. But this time, it's really hot out and we ain't going anywhere special. So we're gonna give it a try. Thank you. Guys, y'all stay safe. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you. Alrighty, y'all, here we go. Never been on this ride. I probably said that 400 times. 401. And now 401. But I think you can tell my level of excitement. It smells like pizza. It smells like Seven Seas Food Festival. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Up we go. The views are just awesome. Right? Yes, they are. Look at the views. Look at that, y'all. There's Bay of Play right over there. The Steel Eel, which hasn't run for months. <laughs> I mean, we tried to ride, we've been here three times since they opened it and it ain't, ain't run once. It's right today. Is it? We, we haven't seen it. it yet. We rode it twice. Oh, cool. Okay. Cool. I'm about to run over there and do Steel Eel then. This is weird. This is weird. They're going to send us out backwards? I think they are. So we, but then you turn and go the other way. This is a little nerve-wracking. Hopefully this thing works. Look at there somewhere. Yes. Oh, well, we're doing something here. Turn it a full 360 for some reason to go forward again. <laughs> well, yeah, we're just spinning. <laughs> Maybe this is why we didn't ride this ride. That's right. <laughs> One big loop to go backwards, I guess? Backwards we go. Not quite sure why. Oh, maybe that's okay. Wow. That's interesting. What? So why am I in the front of this? I don't know. It's it's a little nerve-wracking. Right, here comes the big drop. You don't mind being on YouTube, B. You don't mind being on YouTube, B. Alright, cool. Look at the two fighter planes up there. No, no. And here we go. No. I just like to watch. Little hesitation here to get your nerves racked. And here we go. It's gonna be fast. Oh jeez. Not bad. That's not bad. That drop was nothing, actually. <laughs> it's, um, it's refreshing. Flash Mountain, worse. Yeah. A very refreshing ride. Actually, refresh me right up. Look how wet <laughs> Tina is, though. <laughs> I'm okay with it. So I take back everything I said about that ride. It's actually really good. You don't get drenched, but you do get a nice cool off. So uh, it's a hot day. You definitely want to do it. So as we're getting off the ride, they uh, stated they were closing the ride down for a few minutes to sanitize it, uh, to sanitize the boats. So it looks like they're actually doing that every hour is what they said on the intercom. So that's pretty good. They're sanitizing everything every hour. And then there's uh, hand sanitizer on the, on the way on and the way off. That particular water ride, you don't have to wear a mask on it either, which is kind of cool. Uh, so your whole face gets splashed. And again, it's a nice cooling feeling. Uh, so the gentleman on the uh, journey to Atlanta said that Steel Eel was running, but Tina and I have been looking all day today and we haven't seen it run once. So I don't know if it's just broken or what, but he said he got on it twice. And that's really the ride we wanted to ride. But I don't think we're going to make it again, unfortunately. So one of the things Tina and I have noticed today is people are not wearing their face mask all the way on their nose. Or they're standing in line on top of you. Or they're standing in line on top of you. They're not observing the social distancing. So uh, just be aware of that. Um, and some of the rides, some of the staff members seem to be more responsive to social distancing. Like when we rode the Texas Stingray, there's a there's a girl there. She was telling everyone, <laughs> you yeah. can't have this, you can't do this, you we can't do that. that a lot. And then at the Journey of Atlanta, it's a little more lax. So 
uh, just be aware of that um uh i don't know what you can do about it but uh just be aware you know that uh just make sure you wash your hands and cover your face i guess that's that's what i was like last stop of the day is sea world store on the way out it's the last place you go before you head to the parking lot they have the good mask in here and my favorite <laughs> shirt they have going right now is the social distance expert looks like we got some new gear and oh wow that one is cute we got the rainbow uh designed jerseys the tie-dye it's 39.99 that one's nice how much is two? that one's cute too how much is that one 24.99 24 let me see the front of it i didn't see oh yeah that is cute yeah look totally welded <laughs> look at this i totally whaled it <laughs> i love it 24.99 looks like they got some new gear coming in i haven't seen these shirts before this penguin tells you to be cool. Don't be uncool. $24.99. It's otter nonsense. <laughs> it's otter nonsense. $24.99. $24 this shirt has a Why? <laughs> I love them. I like this one better. I'm the manatee. I'm the man manatee. Cute. Mm -hmm. And the pen I'm getting today is Snuffleupagus. He's $8.99. Alrighty, we are on our way out of SeaWorld. It's almost three. We're gonna head down to the San Marcos outlets and check out the Disney store. Alrighty, we've made it to the Disney store. You can see there's a line. Like there's no other lines anywhere else except the Disney store. We would like to call this, uh, this is our Disney Spring South. Disney Spring, Texas. It's the only Disney store we got. Uh, so uh, we're gonna go in here and see why the line's so long. So you can still there's you can see they're observing special hours still from 12 to 5 p.m. And they're not allowing everyone into the into the store at one time. They're observing or limiting the number of people they can be in the store. The white rides that we had today, the only one that was this is actually the longest wait we've had of all the rides, SeaWorld, everybody. Today's the longest, longest wait. So that's kind of kind of funny. So as you walk in, they still have uh, Mickey Mouse. Easter gear and with Easter eggs and it's all only $5.99 it's almost worth it to buy it for next Easter 30% off for the jacket which right now it's 115 degrees outside so they might have to go a little bit more than 30% off then the cooking section again everything is 30% off I think they're just trying to move stock because the, the store has been shut down for about four months it looks like they're trying to move everything but man, there's some some pretty good prices in here. Saw a guy walking out with two of these bags. These are $37.99. <clears throat> but it looks like they might be $12 now. Look how cute the child is. 15 bucks. There's Dami's favorite. The Mistress of Evil. That is $27.99. And here's their swimwear. It's all 40% off here. A nice swim trunks, even though these look kind of short. Yeah, you just like yours like Yeah, I like my like basketball pants. Which is weird. Not the really short shorty shorts. I like the shorty shorts. 30% off on their outlet exclusive t-shirts. They got the America, which I like this one a lot. The America Mickey. I might have to get that one. And then of course the original. That's cute. Marvel Heroes. So 30% off. They're usually $23.99. It's about 15 bucks. Not bad. Already have this one. Oh my goodness, Daisy. It's Webby. Webby? Yeah, it's one of the dark I mean um duck Dark Wing Ducktails? Oh my goodness. She cute? Yes, I want that one. You want Webby? Yes, I want Webby. <laughs> She's so cute. She's gonna look perfect in my office. I like red too. She's only $5.99, y'all. I'm stealing this from here. Look how cute Minnie is. And Minnie's cute too. Is she $5.99? She's $12.98. Proud of her. She's a little bit more expensive than, than Webby is. Busy getting dizzy. I like that. The only thing I don't like is it's Disneyland. Yeah, well, we like Disneyland. That's not a lie, but we like Disney World better. I like Disney World. This, this outlet store seems to have a lot more Disneyland stuff. 
Actually, I, yeah, it looks like it's only Disneyland yeah, stuff they have. They pull from Disneyland on this side. Yeah. So we don't get a lot of the Disney World. We don't get any Disney World. Which kind of stinks. <laughs> That's cute. California bus. That is cute. Oh, oh that's cute. Is that on sale? Um, Give me a large. They got one. Extra large. I like my shirt's comfortable. They don't look like they have one though. I don't that like this. Alright. Just me and Webby so far. That one's cute too. I just don't like... That's cute. That's all the 10 things you're supposed to do at Disney. What's that one say? Going, Going out, out for a spin. spin. The teacups. And there's Pluto. $49.99. Again, everything's 30% off. And they're trying to move stock out of here. Here is Disney's mask. But they look like they're all small for kids. Oh, they got a freaky one there, Tina. Oh, that's so cute. And that is a large, that's a medium one. They have larges. Oh, I want I, that one. I already ordered those. Oh, you got a forky one? Yes, it's just, just back on back order. Oh, man. Pull it, you can take that one. I can have more than one forky mask. Oh, I love this one. Right. We'll try out the Disney ones to see if they're as good as the SeaWorld ones. What is that for? It's a, I don't know, it's just a snuggle snapper. He, Tina's getting a snuggle snapper, because she can. And I'm getting this pen. How about no? Grumpy. Oh, they got Baymax. Oh, oh man. So we, already, we already bought everything. Oh my goodness. If D Dami saw that, she would jump out of her seat. And here you just take your stuff and you just carry it in a big ball. $39 of the stuff and a big huge ball. Thank you so much. Take care. All right, honey, y'all. That wraps up our day. It's a fun afternoon at SeaWorld and Disney. And again, store. a Disney store, yeah. <laughs> I wish it was Disney. Golly, I wish it was Disney. We got our Baja Blast here from Taco Bell, which by the way, they're very, very good. Uh, we're very excited. Uh, we finally reserved our, our Disney trip again, and it feels good that things are moving back in a cautiously but good manner. Um, we're glad you guys came along with us. We can't wait to uh, experience more of our tales with, with everyone and our trips. Thank you so much for being a part of our day. We love you guys. And remember, live problem free.